Hello, what's up? Um, welcome to part two of working on this little comic strip. Um, today we're going to be coloring it and putting in the text boxes, speech bubbles. Um, I have inked this piece, as you'll see in a minute, and now it's time to color it. So I'm going to color it and then probably post it tonight if I finish it um, quickly, or I'll post it tomorrow and if you're watching this on the day that i'm filming this and the day that i'm posting it it is april 10th um so it'll be either up april 10th or tomorrow the 11th um yeah let's get into it i've got things to yap about that i wrote down on a post-it note this time we're going traditional no notes app, no iPhone notes app. Um, we're going traditional. Um, first thing I want to get out of the way. I'm wearing blue light glasses. Um, you can tell they're blue light glasses. Whether or not the sentiment about um, blue light glasses working, not really my concern. I don't care. I don't care if they work scientifically. Um, they work in my mind. They reduce me getting headaches. And if it's a placebo, so be it. What's what's the deal with things being a placebo? If if the placebo is placeboing, that's is that not scientific proof that it's working? If I'm taking, if somebody packages those Welch's gummies, like just like the kid gummies, in a bag and tells me that they're melatonin and I'll be asleep in five minutes. I'm probably gonna fall asleep in five minutes and it worked so what 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 why does it matter so whether or not um these are placebo effects don't care if i don't get a headache that's all that matters to me my phone is I'm buzzing i need to turn it off for a second um uh so i just wanted to get that out of the way if you're wondering, are those blue light glasses? Is he even wearing real glasses? No, they're blue light. They're blue light. What about it? What about it? I think I'm so defensive about this because I was told that blue light glasses don't work. So then I was like, oh, that's stupid. I'm not going to wear them. And then I've been getting headaches and migraines for however long. And every time I see someone out wearing them, I'm like, you're so dumb. They don't work. But there's no proof as to them working or not working so it's whatever um screen recording in three two one go um i need to find a better way of doing this so i'm just gonna tap on the eraser now pen eraser pen i gotta sync it up when i edit it um anyways here's the comic strip that we've got um I did inking on it. It's very simple. I'm uh, the thing with the comic strip is it's not meant to be detailed. I mean, you can make it as detailed or as undetailed as you want, but a traditional comic strip, they were in newspapers every single day. So it's not super detailed, so I'm going to try and keep them very minimal um and not as technical as we can see up here in this first frame. It's very simple, like I don't have any shading on the feet. There's not much going on on the wall. There's little texture on the ground, nothing in the background. I'm keeping it very simple for the comic strips. And that's just how comic strips are. So I just wanted to discuss that. Um, not that I don't think anybody's like, dude, you're not doing anything. But I don't know. I feel the need to say that. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to show you my coloring process of what I do for digital art. Also, never mind, I'm not going to say that because I don't want you to be hyper aware of what I'm thinking. Because you're probably not going to notice it. You know, like when someone notices, points something out that you didn't even notice and now that's all you can notice. There was something I was going to say, but I'm not going to. Um, <clears throat> coloring process. I do like two, two or three rounds of coloring processes. I start with the color blocking. I just block in all the colors that I want to use and where they go. Then I will go in and put more detail with the colors. 
for different levels of hue variations and um, make sure my values look good and then I will go in and do highlights and shadows and then kind of do any f last finishing touches or add some grain or whatever effects that I want to add to it. So we're going to go ahead and do the color blocking right now and then we'll add the details in a minute. Um, yesterday, I also forget, I don't know, I don't know which brush I like using right now. It changes every time. I think I'm really into this round, um, round render to just do my fill layers of, um, color. I'm going to go ahead and delete my thumbnail sketches because I don't need those anymore. And then I'm going to turn this all to black, um, line art. So I'm using the round render brush. Um, I think this one just comes with Procreate and I'm going to block out the colors. Um, I will be honest. I don't remember how I described Eclipse Ranch Motel, which is the motel Astrid lives in. I don't remember how I described it. So for this comic strip, I'm going to just do what I think I want to do. I think that the paint, I really should look at what I wrote um, and make sure that I'm writing the right things or like referencing my own stuff properly because I described, I need to just look at it. I described, hello. Um, the exterior of the motel. I don't think I even wrote, did I not even write what color it was? I didn't, but I think the color that I want it to be is going to be like a like a pale, deep red somewhere, a little lighter than that, like a brick, something like that. Um, I actually don't think that's the brush that I've been using to, oh, I was using this one. I was using this one, Retro Supply Co's Italic Tip Fountain Pen, and then also Brush Pen, I think, the ones that I was using to color everything. Whoa, that was too much. Um, shouldn't this be... What? Oh! This has to go above that one. There we go. Okay. So, mm, this is a little... I want it to be a little more saturated. Yeah, that's a good color. Okay. So, I'm just gonna go ahead. I know there's more efficient ways to color block. Um, and I do that sometimes typically I just like to fill it in I know it takes more time but it's the closest thing to like doing it traditional traditionally like if I was doing it on paper oops I can't just select the area and then it auto fills it's I have to manually draw it which is what I like to do but also I know like digital art you're supposed to just use it to well, however you want to, but also, like, to be more efficient, but I don't really care. It's not that deep to me. So I'm just going to fill in. Okay, I think for the sake of the video, though, I will, after I fill in this little section right here, I'll go ahead and use the little eyedropper tool because otherwise it's going to take too long. Um, yesterday, I was at Target and every time I go to Target, I stumble upon the Stanley Cups. I do. Every time. I, I'm sorry. I do. And I have secretly, I'll be honest, I have secretly really wanted to have a Stanley I secretly really want one and yesterday I was in the store oops I was in the store and I'm looking at the Owala water bottles and they have um, 
this really cool blue one that I really liked. It has it was like a perfect shade of blue. It was like the same shade as Asteroid. Um, so like a nice pale blue color that I like. And I was like, hmm, you know what? I think I'm gonna get this. I was with Grace. I was like, I think I'm gonna go get this. And then I looked to my left, and on the floor there was another brand of bottle that is like a Stanley Cup. And I was like, oh, interesting. Let me look at this one too. It was seven dollars. So you know what I did? I bought it. Oh, you could see it here the whole time. I bought it. Seven dollars. I was not gonna pass down a cup, an insulated cup, for seven dollars. This is my third one today. It's water. I've drinking three things of water. I've been peeing every twenty minutes though. But that's the point, so that you can drink your water. I have a hydro flask, and this is like my daily go-to. Thermos of choice? Is it a thermos? I think it is. Um, that's my go-to, especially when I'm going out. It's I don't know. I just like how it how it is. Um, but I've been wanting a Stanley Cup. Well, actually, I haven't even wanted a Stanley Cup. I think the Stanley Cups are ugly. I think that there are much better uh, cups by other brands. And I actually really like this one that I got. I wish they had different colors. They only had this white one. They had one that was the same color as my Hydro Flask, but I don't want two cups of the same color. And then they had a, a really ugly green color. And I'm not... I'm not that big of a fan of green to begin with, um, but that color was just atrocious, so I just got a white one. It's like cream white, um, and I don't mind it, but I've been drinking a lot of water, and I think we need to get over, just let people get the Stanley Cups. I think it is excessive when people are buying, <coughs> like, five of them. You don't need five Stanley Cups, I'm so, I'm so sorry to break it to you, but you don't need five Stanley Cups. One is okay. Two is okay. Three is pushing it. You don't need more than three. You really don't need, you don't need one to begin with. But, I see why it's nice to have one. I mean, it's good to drink your water and whatever. Also, I've been debating this with Grace too, because she really... Actually, I don't know. She's not... I don't think she means it seriously. I think she's kind of just trolling me. But... You know those people who... Have Stanley Cups... And then they make their water of the day... And they're pouring in... Kool-Aid, Coca-Cola mix... And raspberry, Skittles, Starburst, whatever... And calling it water... It is not water. But Grace is like... She's like, yeah, well there's water in it... And then I was like, yeah, but there's, it's not water. Like, you're not drinking water. You're drinking a juice at that point. And she was like, yeah, well, if you, she was like, okay, if I gave you a cup of water and you drink that cup of water and then I gave you powder from one of those packets, would you say that you drink water? And I would say, yes, because I drink the water on its own. And then, when I finished it, I drank, or I ate the, the powder separately. And she was like, yeah, so it's the same thing. If you mix it up together or not. I'm like, it's not the same thing, though, because you're not drinking water. It changes into something else. Same thing, if you drink a Coke, my Coke has water in it. I'm not drinking water. I'm drinking a Coke. It has changed, like, scientifically. It has changed from water to juice or to whatever it is. And then she was like, oh, I guess so. But I was I couldn't tell if she was serious or not. And I don't know. But I, I find that crazy that some people genuinely believe. Also, I know. I don't think people genuinely believe that. There's no way that you can pour all of that stuff in there and drink it and believe you're drinking water like it's just water 
there's no way it has to be a rage bait for people to just like go crazy in the comments there's no way people are genuinely doing that and for real thinking that they're drinking water I don't believe it I really don't but I will say they're onto something with the Stanley Cup as a cup it's it's a nice cup I will I will admit very nice and it's very oh my gosh I'm freaking out I feel like I didn't screen record oh I did okay um it's a nice cup or a nice style of cup I actually do really like that there's a handle on it for some reason I think it's cool and I've been taking it with me around the house and drinking my water it's also nice to have on my bed stand because then I don't have to like the straw is already out there and I can just like pop over and drink my water because I often wake up in the middle of the night to drink water um so it's been nice what color do I want the snail to be I think I want the snail to be like a light yellowish color maybe I don't know I don't necessarily want it to be okay this, that does look like a traditional snail okay maybe I'll do the body or like the slimy part of the snail this color and then I can make the snail whatever color I want so let's give it like a like a green maybe me after saying I don't like green um is that dumb can the snail not be green I don't hate that actually I think it's kind of nice but how does that look on here Ooh, I need to fix this end section. There's no, um, like it's not connecting down to the edge of the panel. Um, I don't hate it. I'll leave it there for now. I can always change it before I start putting the details in. But I think it's fine for now. Um, oh, currently... Um, CinemaCon is happening, happening, I didn't even know that was a thing, I had never heard about it until today, um, and the only reason I've heard about it is because news about the Wicked movie. There's a new poster, and let's see what the latest update is, it's currently 7pm, 7.16pm on April 10th. Let's see what the latest news is. It doesn't look like there's anything new, it's just there's a new poster. Ariana and Cynthia are both present and we're speaking and apparently in the trailer there are clips of Ariana singing popular and Elpha Elphaba well yes, Cynthia singing what did they say? I think they said I think they said she's singing Defying Gravity in the thing, but which she already sang in the other trailer, but I forget. I think it was I think they said that song. I don't remember. I don't know. But they have a little display of the costumes that they wore in the film there, which is cool. And I really, really hope we're getting a second trailer for the general public, not just for the people who went to the stupid convention. I want to see. I want to see the trailer. Give me the second trailer. Please. I need it. I need it. I need it now. I needed it yesterday. I needed it three months ago. I need the movie to be out now. I can't wait until November. Boy. What do you mean? November. That's so many months away. Oh my god, no. It's gonna make me it's gonna make my skin start itching. I'm gonna start going crazy. I'm gonna start going crazy. Mm, that's brown is a little too dark. I need more of like a chestnutty brown. Yeah, this one's good. Um, but I'm I'm so excited for that movie. I am a huge, huge wick wicked fan. But also just a Wizard of Oz fan. And also an Ariana Grande fan. Um, 
so it's kind of a mix of everything that I like in a movie and I'm so excited one time I live in San Diego one time Wicked was here in San Diego oh apparently also Wicked is going to be in LA at the end of this year like like the the production of it not the movie obviously the movie will be out but like the the musical i don't know if it's the official like the broadway cast who's doing it but nonetheless at the pantages pantages i don't know how you say it theater in la they're doing wicked at the end of the year and i need to see it live i need to see it live when i was a kid i think i was like 12 wicked was here in san diego again i don't know if it's the official one or not but there was a wicked show like a few shows they were having a run of the show in san diego and my mom was like oh we should go and then we just never went and to my knowledge it has not come back since so it being in la is a big deal and i need to see it i need to see it so badly selection tool to color drop i have to hold my breath and i stop breathing because i need it to be good Ta-da. i literally hold my breath so many times while i'm doing art <clears throat> i don't know why i just it helps you stabilize yourself i think i mean not maybe maybe not for real well i know it does for real i don't know but i do it um this is something that I talk about all the time. I tell this to Cole. I tell this to Grace. Those are the only two people that I know. Um, but I tell them, I'm like, we as humans in this day and age, in 2024, I don't think I like this light on. In 2024, we need to evolve past the point of having to eat food. I don't want to have to eat food every day. I don't want to do it. It's so boring. Let's do red, maybe. I dyed my hair. I got a new hair dye today. You can't really tell. Like, the red. The red is still the same as it usually is, but I got it. It's the, the Good Dye Young brand. Haley Williams, I believe is, it's her brand. Um, I got that today. And I dyed my hair, but I don't think it did much. But also, I dyed it on top of already red hair so i need to do it on bleach hair which i'll do next time i just wanted to see how it do um what was i saying we need to we need to evolve past eating i think it's i think it's high time that we as humans find a way where we don't have to eat every day i don't want to have to do it i hate eating and that's not in the sense of like like eating disorder stuff i'm not talking about that i'm saying i eat i do what i'm saying is i don't like to do it i think it's so silly and so stupid that we as these human creatures still have to eat not one time a day oh the fact that we have to do it daily is crazy enough but the fact that we have to do it three times a day insane i think it's so funny we got all these crazy things we're going to space and we're making those flying cars and there's a tesla cyber truck but we still have to eat that's so primitive it's so i feel like we should just evolve past it same thing with breathing blinking um sleeping why do we still have to sleep And I like sleeping. I like doing it. But then when you think about how you spend, like, I think it's more than half of your life asleep. I could be living two lives, double the life that I'm going to live just by not sleeping. If I didn't sleep, I could live double the life, do double the things. Have I could live one life as someone else and then another life as another person. But no, I have to sleep. I have to get in my bed and I have to temporarily die. I have to sit there and lose all sense of consciousness and like be incubated 
It's so dumb. I don't know. I just think I also don't like eating. I, I just don't like to do it. It feels like a waste of time. I wish I could just, if I could, I would eat the same thing every day. I, I don't, I like when I have new foods. I'm not a big food person in general. I don't like going to restaurants. I don't like trying new foods. I'm very scared that I'm going to have like an allergic reaction to food. So I don't like eating new foods. Unless I can read like the ingredient list. Every time that I open up a package, I read the ingredient list. Even if I've had it before. Um... For most things, there's a, there's a few things that I just go into it and eat it. Like goldfish, I know I know it's in a goldfish. I know I'm not allergic to anything in goldfish. But a lot of other foods, I will read the packaging before I eat it, just so I know. Um, but I'm always scared that I'm going to have some type of allergic reaction. So I don't like trying new foods. I just wish I could eat it the same thing every day. And that'd be that it would save so much time it would one less thing I have to think about so I don't have to think about what am I going to eat um, I say that as if I don't eat the same things already every day I literally just get like chicken nuggets I'll eat chicken nuggets pizza, mac and cheese Veggie fried rice, chicken pot stickers, soup, and a spicy tuna roll. Those are like the things that I eat all the time. Or like a nice sandwich from like a deli shop or like Jersey Mike's even. Just like a nice sandwich. Turkey sandwich, tomato, lettuce, no onions. Never. Never onions. Ever. Never, 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 never. No. No, 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 no. Onions are horrible. Not as bad as peas, though. I talked about peas in the last video. I can't stand peas. I would... No. But I can... I can get down with... What? I'm not even... I wasn't even talking about something I can get down with. I'm just saying... Well, no. I can get down with onions before I can get down with peas. That's for sure. I like onion rings. Um, I will eat onion rings if they're good, but there's, I need to find who has the best onion rings out of the fast food places. Um, I don't know who has the best onion rings, and onion rings are something that should not be hard to make, but almost every place makes them wrong. Same with french fries. There are only so many places that I like the fries from. Um, I hate Burger King fries. Hate them. Hate fries that are thick. I hate when a fry tastes like a potato. Because nothing wrong, like, yes, I know it's a potato. But there's nothing wrong with, like, something tasting like the potato. That's not the issue. But the issue is, if I wanted something to taste like a potato I would just eat the baked potato you know what I mean like I don't uh, I made this one too light I gotta change the color um I would just I wouldn't I would eat the potato I'm eating the french fry because I want it to taste like a french fry is there a way that I can just change the color of what's in my selection I don't think so oh wait here it is period yeah 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 yeah. look at that I need it to be that's a box color I feel like good enough um I love In-N-Out fries. Sorry, I do. Cane's fries, delicious. 
Um, those are my favorite fries, in and out and Cane's. Uh, I also really like the cheese fries from Cane's. No, from in and out So good. I used to get animal fries. And then one time Grace was like, I'm just going to get the cheese fries. And I was like, just cheese on it? And then she was like, yeah. And so the next time we went, I was like, hmm, I'll try the cheese fries too. I think I got, I ordered the cheese fries and we went up to the window and somehow they messed up the order or something a little bit and so they had to make the cheese fries like right there even though we had the cheese fries in the order from the start oh what it was was i ordered a number two i always get a number two no onions with a coke and we said it i guess we said it wrong or whatever but we were like oh for the fries can we do cheese fries they took it as number two with regular fries and then a cheese fries on the side so we went up to the window they're like does this order sound correct and we we're like oh no we just we just want the cheese fries we don't want the regular fries in the order and they're like oh okay sorry about that and then we get up to the window to pick up the food and they're like i hear them like talking to the people next to them and they're like well they changed the order about the fries and blah blah the only thing that we did was take out the regular fries the cheese fries were there from the start so i don't know what the confusion was anyways they made the fries fresh the cheese was perfectly freshly melted like i watched her pull it out of the thing and then hand it directly to us and those were so delicious the best fries i've ever had in my life but um oftentimes when you get the animal fries the cheese melts on it but then it kind of like gets hardened by the time it gets to you so you can you can literally stick your fork in and pull the whole thing out of it but these fries were perfect the cheese was melted beautifully and i loved them and they're so good why did why did i talk about that i think i started talking about onions and onion rings and then and now we got the fries and whatever um the next thing i have written down is something that I'm warning you about because if you don't see it this way you will never see it how you used to see it once I tell you this and this has to do with the logo of a very 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 popular very famous brand um, that for my entire life I had seen it as what I'm about to tell you, but it's not it. Um, so if this kind of thing is one of those things you don't want to hear because you don't want to get it ruined for you, the rest of your life, literally, um, go ahead and stop watching the video or fast forward or something. Um, and what I'm about to say has to do with the Disney logo. So you either know what I'm about to say because you think the same thing or you're probably like, I don't know what you're going to say, but if you really like Disney, again, you might not want to hear this because you will not see it a different way. Ever since I was a kid, young, from my, the time that I could have my own thoughts, I have always seen the Disney logo. Not, I didn't even know it was a D at the beginning of Disney. It's literally a backwards G, the way that it's all squiggly weird. let that who let that be the logo it's confusing because it's not like it I, I can see how it is a d but it's really a backwards g because of how many loops they do it's just not well designed and i understand it was walt disney's signature if anybody's wanted to talk about this it's me because i stay with me I'm Walt Disney. There's a spider on my wall that I keep watching. It's like, yay big. I'm Walt Disney's reincarnation. Why? We have the same birthday. December 5th. Not only do we have the same birthday, but we are exactly 100 years apart. He was born December 5th, 1901, and I was born December 5th, 2001. So, I'm no big deal, but I'm, what are we the Walt Disney reincarnate? 
I'm sorry. I'm, it's what do we mean? I'm what do we want this team? And I believe that to my to the bone, to the bone. I believe it. Um, I think there's like actually too many coincidences for it kind of not to be true. And okay, listen, I don't think it's like true, true, but I do. It does help me sleep at night knowing that I am doing the same thing also but it's like it's also kind of like I like there's no way that I'm not because I'm doing the same things that he's doing we both have our own little characters and I know so many people do but not the way that him and I do like it's just it's different I don't know how to explain it I I think we are I think I'm as reincarnated whatever um i think also i wrote that in the in the book i'm writing a book that i'm kind of posting i haven't posted this the next chapter in like months i think um but i wrote in the book that asteroids like i described asteroids room so i need to figure out how i described i think i remember um writing that his what are they called curtains jesus um i wrote that his curtains were patchwork curtains i think um yeah patchwork drapes okay so i need to go back to my line art and add some patchwork designs similar to how his sweater looks if you know how his sweater looks I'm just going to add very simple ones. Just for the vibe. Like that. And then what was the other thing I needed to do? Oh, I needed to fix the snail's body in relation to this part right here. There we go, good enough. Did I say what color the walls were? Um, I'm looking at the pages that I wrote on my screen right here. I don't think I wrote what color the pages were. I mean, the pages, the walls were inside, but inside they're going to be, I think, I think I want the walls to be like pale blue. Oh, thinly striped navy blue and cream wallpaper, period. Okay, thinly striped navy blue and cream wallpaper. So, for this one, I'm going to do, okay, color blocking, I'm going to, I'm going to make the drapes similar to his skin tone, I think. Wait, no, because the drapes, the drapes are cream, like a 
cream yellow. So I need to make it like something like this. Maybe a little more yellow. No, a little more orangey. That barely did anything. Oh my god. Let's make it like that. That's good. Um. Anyways, the Disney logo looks like a G. And I've never been able to unsee it. And I know other people think the same thing. But I just think it's poor design. Like, genuinely. Because, I don't know. It could also have been intentional, though. To get... Like, it's it's a topic of conversation, for sure. I don't think it's a very big topic of conversation. And I also don't think back in that time... Walt Disney was trying to create a PR stunt. By the way that his name was... Written on the logo. I don't think that's... I just think it's just bad design. And not even bad design. I just think I... Maybe I focused on how it looks for so long that it's bothered me. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the background section. So, like, up in here, this wall, behind his hand, here, here, and then the walls. So... The way that I'm going to do that is just through the color drop tool. Um, the ground is going to be like just asphalt color, so like a nice gray for the sidewalk. And then... Wait, what am I doing? Is this on a separate layer? Yeah. So how I do this is I just put a point and I'll take it all the way across bring it down and back up we got the sidewalk and then I'll do the same thing down here point it and then point it again draw I can I'll try to keep it as straight as I can for as long as it can go until it curves you know if that makes sense like I don't know you saw what I did um, then I'll just go fill in those gaps right there like right there I think for the background of this one I'll just keep it gray as well oops because I guess this one he's looking down at the ground after he's done that and then this one will be the color of this wall because now we're looking back at his face. Again, I don't do comic strips like traditionally, I suppose. Like, I, I don't know. I don't follow any comic rules. I just kind of do what I like to do, basically. I don't know. I'm not particular on making sure that... <laughs> Everything that I do is perfect to like comic strip etiquette, I guess. I don't know if that's disrespectful of me or not. I don't think it is. I mean, it's my art and I can produce it however I want. Um, but. speech bubbles. I'll do that in a minute. Um, this is a long video, but I don't care. No one just post it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. You'll watch the you're either gonna watch the video or you're not, and I don't expect anybody to watch these videos in full in one sitting and like really just sit down and pay attention. I expect it to be more like you throw it on in the background and watch me oh, I just realized I did this the wrong way. Oh. I wanted to make this backdrop cream.
scream. Ugh, wait, no, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I wanted to be cream with navy stripes. Is that what I wrote? Oh, I have to. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. But I also don't have any more topics to talk about. I said all the things that I was going to talk about. Cream wall, navy stripes. Cream wall, paper stripes, navy blue. And cream wall, paper. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Huh? I don't remember what I was saying. I don't know. I'm just gonna the stripes in there. Is that a good? I feel like it needs to be more blue just so you can tell that they're blue stripes. This is going to take a while. I don't know. I'm making these videos so that I have you can watch me do things in real time as if I'm like streaming it because I would like to stream art eventually too but I don't know people watch stuff this long also but again I'm not expecting people to sit and watch every second of it it's more just throw it on in the background while you're working on something um, and then I kind of post like a 10 minute highlight reel of sorts on TikTok, I just post that so that I can hopefully get people to watch it and then be like, oh, I want to watch the rest of the video. And then they go on to my YouTube, and now I'm just rambling a bunch. I've ran out of topics, and now you are going to have to deal with the insanity that is my mind when I. Last night, I was with Grace, and we went to study at one of our favorite spots. Well, not even really one of our favorites. It's like the only spot that we can go to that is open late to study at. And I made a comment about how we, you know how like when people are editing their YouTube videos. Some people will say something and then what they say is in reference to some type of meme on the internet and then they'll put that clip right after like if I, I don't know. This is going to be a really bad example and I'm really sorry but it's the only way that I can think of it and explain it. If I had a croissant in my hand and I was eating a croissant and I was talking about, I don't know what the video is about, some random video. I'm like, oh, I have a croissant. And then I cut to that vine of the person who's like, oh, I, I could have dropped my croissant. You know how people edit like that and they put the sound bite or meme reference right after. I was like, I was like, I was like, bro, we do this IRL live in the moment as it's happening. And I mean, we say the sound right after we say the thing that we said and then we do the reference to the meme right after as we are speaking and i think a lot i mean a lot of people do it but i just thought it was so funny i was like dang we literally do that we don't need to do like a not that we're editing videos of us hanging out or anything but like if we were we wouldn't even need to because we just do it already like it's part of what we're how we speak and i just thought it was so funny because i was like bro we are saying we say the craziest things right after and in reference 
I can't even I can't even begin to tell you what like every time we hang out and it can be multiple times in the day we could hang out in the morning and then we'll go study later that night each hangout session has a different meme reference that we will fixate on and just repeat over and over and I think I don't know I'm not I am not saying we're the only people who do that I know everybody does that but I just think it's silly that our brains are so rotted oh my god we've been playing Fortnite 2 an insane amount to the point where we or I I will be will be in the car and then say someone's on a bike and they have like a light on the front of their bike so you can see them when they're driving I will literally like flinch for a second and I almost want to go oh my god there's a sniper right there because in Fortnite the snipers have a little white flashing light when someone's sniping at you so you can see it and I, I noticed me doing stuff like that and I'm like dude you need to you're crazy for that your brain is so rotted that you are out in the real world thinking you're about to get sniped because you play Fortnite that much it's crazy um I need to color the window sills now. I'll do like a dark color for in here. I also don't know how long I can screen record for before it like turns it off. I should probably check and see if it's still recording. Oh, it is. That's crazy. Um, I think I'm going to pause filming this, finish up the color blocking, add the details, and I'll just come back and show you when it's done done. Um, so you don't have to sit here for another 15, 20 minutes until it's ready. Um, you've already sat through long enough if you've made it this far. But also, if you've made it this far, you you probably would have watched the, the 20 minutes anyways, because you're crazy for sitting here for with me for 52 minutes and 36 seconds. Um, nonetheless, I'm going to finish it, come back, show you the end, and then I will post it onto Instagram and on here, on YouTube. If you go to the community tab, you can find it, um, and I'll post it on there too. So, I will be back in few minutes when it's done it's about 20 minutes later mm. it's about 30 minutes later okay um let me start screen recording oh, i've been screen recording this whole time let me start a new screen recording three two one go here is the finished comic um i think i'm gonna take it and run it through um A texture. Gosh, why can't I think? Run it through a texture to get it some grit. Um, so I'm going to save it. Save image. Gallery. And then we're going to import. I like to use this texture a lot for things that I do. Crop and resize. Settings. 11 by 11. Done. And now we will add that photo. we go I think I'm gonna add or I'm gonna adjust these a little bit I typically change them a little bit just to get them more to a style that I like um, and I think that looks good so I'm gonna share it PNG save image oh there we go I think that's that's good I'm also trying not to be so nitpicky about it because it is just a comic strip and it doesn't need to be the most perfect thing. Um, so I'm happy with it, you know? That's all it needs to be. My camera's about to die, so I'm going to stop the screen recording.
Um, but yeah, there it is. I'll pop that up on the screen here, and then I'll post it on YouTube, the community tab, and also on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out and watching me do this. Um, if you have any ideas for comic strip, comic strip that you want to see, if you, I'm going to say that again. If you have any ideas for a comic strip that you want to see, let me know. We can draw it. Same thing we did. I'll do one sketching it and then one drawing it, uh, coloring it like I did today. Um, but I'm going to go now. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.